So I had a question uh, from a viewer that asked me about how I was going to hang these ceiling panels. And uh, just to give you an idea, I'll show you my office area and really the whole basement. I left the ceilings open because I had planned on building these custom uh, ceiling panels. And so I've got the first one. Barrett and I have built the first one already. And I finally figured out how I wanted to hang them. Now, some people are gonna think this chain is whippy, but it has a 70 pound load rating. And this panel is probably about 50 pounds. So one chain would have held up the whole thing, but we'll have four, two on each side. And those will be spaced based on the joist, like this. So they kind of serve a dual purpose. Let me show you on this side. They will connect, they'll add as an extra connection uh, between the ceiling panel and the side rail. But you can see my condition here. That hole there is for an S hook for the chain. What I'd like to have is another hole right here. So I'd have two screws uh, going into the ceiling panel and two going into the side rail. Enter my new desktop <laughs> drill press. I just put this thing together. I've had it for, I don't know, three or four months. And I wanted to wait till the new shop was up and going to to open it up and get it started. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drill that extra hole right there and I'll show you how we're going to set the chain up and all that next after we drill the holes. This is the number four, I call it a vice block um, that you can, you know, it's made for your drill press. It just makes it a lot easier than trying to clamp something down. I don't have my bolts, I can't find them, I just moved in. <laughs> so, but I think everything's so heavy that I can just hold this and it'll hold it. So, let me get my drill bit. I don't need to drill a, a huge hole. I'm just gonna be running these um, um, crack tool screws that have these nice built-in sort of washers on them. These are, these are great screws and they have really nice points on them and a nice coarse thread. These are great for this kind of thing. So I just need a hole big enough for this. I don't need this quarter inch or whatever that is. Just something to get this screw through here. I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. <laughs> but you can see here, I'm just gonna use this little Stanley logo as my guide and um, I think, like I said, all this is heavy enough to where when I come down on it, I think it's going to stay in place. We'll try it. Pretty smooth for a cheap drill press. Without this thing even being bolted down, you see how heavy. And this is kind of, you know, got that coarse surface, just kind of grabbed it. So now, let's check the hole. It's big enough. Yep. So now I'll be able to. Oh, I didn't get, quite get it centered, but it's no big deal. <laughs> I'll pay more attention to that next, next time. And that'll just go just like that. So I'll have two here, two there, and then the S-hook connects to this. 
So here you can see how it's going to work. I have an S up there connecting to that top hole and the chain. The chain's a little long. I didn't want to cut it too short, but then it'll just hook over this eye hook. That's about a three inch open S or an eye hook there. So the idea is to create a system uh, that's very easy because when you're, you know, you're 13, 14 feet in the air, you just want to be able to raise this up with one hand, you know, two people, and then hook it onto the eye hook um, with the other hand, and you'll be done. But first, I have to paint them, and that's what Barrett and I are going to do this coming week, and we'll be ready. And the ultimate goal is to get all this crazy wood for the ceiling panels out of my shop so that I can set up that wall over there with benches and stuff. So thanks a lot guys for watching and as soon as we get ready to hang these, uh, we're going to hang this one first just for the fun of it. It does have an LED light that should be coming Monday or Tuesday. It's around, it's basically a LED can light replacement system and so each panel will have a light in the middle and uh, on a dimmer so that I can control the amount of light uh, coming down because I don't like a lot of light in the office coming down. I like obviously in the shop you need a lot of light but in the office I like to have sort of a, uh, a lower level of light with uh, my computer uh, uh, you know as a backlit but anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you up on this uh, as soon as we're ready to hang these.